Do you ever want to get a list of the files on one or more disks or drives? With List Files, it's easy and it's free. Hi, this is Crystal. You can print file reports from Access. You can also go to Excel with the report information so it is easy to add notes about each file. Let me show you how. I have two disks that I want to read files from. My disk drive is Z. First, I browse through the drive I want to document. Optionally, I could paste or type the path. Then I click the Load Files button. Sixteen files were added. I replace the disk and load files again. The second disk also has sixteen files. I click on the Report Menu button. I see two runs from Drive Z. I will select all the directories that are showing so my reports will show the files on both disks. The first report, by directory and file name, has a page break between each set of files. This can make the report long if you have a lot of directories. When the report appears, I resize it to see things better. In the lower left corner, I click the VCR style buttons to go to another page. The report has two pages, one page for each directory. When you zoom in, you will see the files grouped by extension, then they are sorted by file name. The number to the left of the file name is the file size in bytes. At the bottom of each group, the files are counted. There are 32 files on this report, the 16 files from each disk. The second list files report shows all the files grouped by file extension. Within each grouping, the files are then sorted by file name and then by directory. In this case, the directory is the same since we read the disks from the same drive. After the path, the run ID is reported so you can see which batch of files is being referenced. The nice thing about this report is that you can see where files are duplicated on different disks. If the file name and size are the same, chances are pretty good it is the same file and you only have to review it once. From the report menu, click the Load Files menu to read more file information. If you close the menu forms, you can get back to them by typing MEN in the search box of the navigation pane to narrow the choices. Then double click on one of the menu forms to open it. I am opening the load files form so I can read another disk. Three files were added. Optionally, I could click the browse button to see a list of directories. The default is to load all the files, star dot star, but you may also specify a file mask. I have three runs from Drive Z. To help identify the files, you may double click on the drive letter to assign a title to the run. The first disk was Files for Smith. The second disk was Files for Johnson. The third disk was Files for Williams. These run titles will also appear on reports. I clear all the checkboxes and select the Williams files for the reports. Here is the first report. It fits on one page. The second report, which is shorter, also fits on one page. Zooming in and resizing allows me to read what's on the report. To print, click on the Print button on the Print Preview ribbon. Set the printer properties if you wish. To close the Print Preview, click the X on the far side of the Print Preview ribbon. Even though these cases below are not related, I will select them all. Two of the checkboxes were changed. Now if I look at report number two, which is by type and then by file name, I can see there are files which appear to be the same on each disk. On the next page, I can see that there is more than one file named arrestlog plus complaints plus statement dot pdf, but the file sizes are different, so it is probably not the same file. I close the print preview and go back to the report menu. Now I close access. I'm opening the database again now that I have time to review the files. I immediately go to the report menu since I've already read the file information that I'm interested in. I clear all the selected directories since right now I'm working on the Smith case. I check the Output to Excel box and click a Report button. Instead of an Access report, I get an Excel spreadsheet with the results. 
The code does not turn the visibility off as it processes the report so you can see what's going on. When it's done, it opens the file for you to look at and edit. Both of the reports can go to Excel instead of Access. You can also open the directory where Access stores the Excel files that it creates. Part of the file names reflect the run title. If files are listed from more than one run, the one that has the most files will be specified in both the file name and the sheet name. Now I select all the cases and output the results of the reports to Excel. Since there are two more files, when I open the directory, I now see four Excel files. The run with the most files was Johnson, and there are two more case files included specified by plus two. I can double click an Excel file from the directory to open it. I see that the files listed came from the Smith case, the Johnson case, and the Williams case. In Excel, filter arrows have been added to the data. Right now, I want to see all of the complaint files, so I drop the filter list, uncheck Select All, and then select anything that looks like a complaint. There are five files. I want to add a column for notes, so I type Notes in the first row of the first blank column. If I add Notes and then Sort or Filter, the Notes column will be disregarded because it's not part of the current table. I remove the filter arrows and put them back again, making sure the notes column has an arrow. Now I close the workbook and save it with my changes. What if, after you have analyzed file information and looked at the reports, you do not wish to keep the results? Go to the Load Files menu and click on Open Runs. This opens the Runs table where you can delete records. Click and drag in the record selector box to the left of the data to select records. Then, once what you want to delete is selected, press the delete button on the keyboard. All the related records are deleted because of cascade delete being specified on the relationships. As you load files, if you want to see the progress, you can look at the debug window which shows what file count is being analyzed. You can also look in the lower left corner on the status bar to see where the progress is. When the analysis is done, you will see a message box telling you how many files are read and from what directory. I hope this helps you keep track of your files better. Thanks for watching. Through sharing, we will all get better. Mm -hmm.